Okay, today is July 27th, 3 p.m. I am Lawrence Page, Lieutenant, City Homicide Division, conducting this formal interview. Would you please state your name? Mitchell Stanton, Agent 14987. Agent Stanton, you have been advised of your rights and you are giving this statement freely and without coercion. Is this correct? An audible response, please. Yeah. Now, Agent Mitchell, could you please start from the beginning and tell us about what happened? Have you talked to anyone else yet? Excuse me? The survivors. A few. We haven't found everyone yet, but the ones we have spoken to had some interesting perspectives. Your name came up a lot. Oh. Does this make you nervous? No, it's just that I'm concerned about the lies they've been telling you. Uh, this whole thing was a bloodbath. Okay, then go ahead and tell us your version. I should have my lawyer here. The guy's name is Richie Verdelac. Verde 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 Look, he's a short guy, maybe 140 pounds, soaking wet. You can toss him around a little. But don't get crazy. No head trauma this time. He's got some information our clients back east want to hear. Yeah, what's up? He knows where this dumb fuck is. Richie's got a cousin, a guy named Dominic. He's the one my clients want dead. But only Richie knows where he is. Connect the dots. They want it done clean. No witnesses. Getting your tools. Does it matter? I don't trust her. And you are that much. How much? Eight. It's per guy. Total. With all due respect, there's not a whole lot for what I gotta do here. Times are tough. You don't wanna do it, I got a dozen guys who will. So you in or out?
hope the sex was good because we're running late. Yeah, you mad? Very. And yeah, the sex is very worth it. <sighs> Dude, could you have at least taken a shower? Nope. We'll say that for your mama later. Oh, man, I know you could do better than your mama jokes. You guys haven't booked me in a job in five months. You couldn't wait five more minutes? Yeah, your mama couldn't wait five more minutes. My mom's dead, bro. Yeah, I know. I fucked her to death. Look, Frank shouldn't be getting it all, man. We're doing the work. So he's Craigslist. Oh, yeah, right, dude. What is going on here? Oh, it's deeper than that. It's like a respect thing. The guy doesn't even know my name. Respect? It's overrated. If guy knows your name, it means you fucked up. Look, well, you just made this whole thing sound a hell of a lot different when you got me into it. Yeah. Just be happy you have a job, huh? <clears throat> Stick with us, though, man. A couple years will be fucking gods, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Two <for> <laughs> I thought your mommy said honey. I don't see anything wrong with it. And you made sure the safety was off? Very funny. You use it since? No. Everything's good. Try it again. Look, I'd rather just exchange it. I don't do exchanges. Yeah, but it didn't work. So are you saying that your parts didn't work? My parts work just fine. Yeah, you know that. Keep telling yourself that. <sighs> uh, come on, I just don't want this one anymore. Don't be so picky. You know you can actually use a gun more than once, you know? You don't have to keep coming back to me for new stuff all the time. Yeah, I know. But if I'm gonna get these from a scuzzy dealer, that will be a nice blonde one. <laughs> Uh, Eric says hi, by the way. So, in his mind, does saying hi to me mean what? I'm gonna bend over and just let him do his thing? I think he's just trying to be nice. It's funny, he used to always talk about how we should just hook up, get it over with, and now he won't even leave the car. Well, you're both single, if you change your mind. He used to do that when you and me were dating. I guess I just have a thing against dating guys who fired me. Or a guy who got me fired. Look, somebody stooges this out and it was Frank's call anyways. What do you want me to say? You don't have to say anything. See something you like? Yeah, what do you recommend? What's the job? Don't know yet. It's good. 38 special, a Glock, a potato gun. Same things I always recommend. Same song and dance. Salt. I'm not gonna beg. It's not asking you to. <laughs> Well, I guess you did have a good reason to come see me today. Yeah, I don't think there's a bad reason to come see you. I don't think Sabrina would agree. Friday. 
nothing. Just watching Netflix with Sabrina. It's nice. Look, to be honest, I'd really just like to get working. We'll see. It's been a slow quarter. Oh, come on, man. I'm your best guy. You can't tell me there's no work out there. Nothing. Look, there is. But I know you don't work for free. What about Ivan, Eric, Abbott? They're always working. Hits are maybe a once a month gig these days. They're not the money maker they used to be. You want to work? What other skills you got? Oh, what do you want? You want me to pull out a master's degree? <laughs> if you were a master, you wouldn't be working for me. Look, I just don't have a lot of years to make a go with this, so I don't want to waste my time. Think I'm wasting your time? No. No. Look, I just want to know that it's going somewhere. I got a gig. It's all queued up. But you're not going to like it. You don't want it? I got no problem giving it to somebody else. You in or out? You're being investigated. What? Guy calls me up. Cop. His name's Mitchell. Says he's got some information on what's coming. Indictments. 302s, surveillance, Google searches, everything. Guy wants 150 grand for it. Yeah, what do they know? All told, there might be a rat. So what? You want me to do the exchange? No. I want what he has, and I want him dead. Killing a cop? Is that a no? No, no. But Look, there's a rat not 20 feet away, and you just want to let it go. No, I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is people notice when cops get hit. Don't make it one. Make it a suicide, a heart attack. Be creative. That's your department. Look, Frank, you're not even going to get any of the actual evidence. You're just going to get copies. Look, all we need is names. Then we know who to fire. <sighs> Look, if they really are after us, then maybe it's not a bad idea just to bolt explain that to your wife? You want to answer those questions? I have to leave for a few days. I'll be working. But, uh, you get the whole house yourself now. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Yeah, I don't say this enough, but you can talk to me about things. And I know that there's some we things talk. that we can't... I like talking to you. Me too. I like it too. It's, it's just that things change when you work. There's a difference between holding me and holding on to me. I could feel it. I'm on some right now. I can take it. I just don't want you to have to. If it's money, I could go back no, to modeling just for a couple a money of months. Thing. Just for Sabrina, a while. Stop just... it. Stop. But we're together, that's it. I'll take care of this. Yeah, I promise. I got a connect coming up. Might lead to some corporate gigs. If that comes through, that's your hourly wage. It's another 20 when you're done. Yeah, I can get used to that.
I entered the house, cornered you in your study. You fought back valiantly. Hey, just listen to me. You're you making a big fucking mistake. Was. My gun went off. You didn't get up again. I'm sorry, boss. Jesus, you will you listen, listen to yourself? To I searched all around. I'm telling you, you're making a mistake. All around, but he wouldn't cooperate. Joel! Stole a few things. Cleaned up. If you do this, you're damned. Your friends get that and you're fucking dead. Did they tell you what I have and why you're here? Doesn't matter. Believe me, it's gonna matter. You do this and you're signing divorce papers in solitary. Best case scenario. I can help you. You want your kid to be a goddamn orphan? You didn't know, did you? All right, genius, we tapped your phones, yours and Sabrina's. We even got an office pool on whether it's your kid or not. Say her name again and I'll fucking kill you. Isn't this what you came here for? Fine, you want more? Go check the computer. Dad, what's going on? What's going on? He's fucked us. We do not know that. Just talk to me. Look, you don't know that. Not we. I can't afford to be kept in the dark here. Frank, I know this guy. He would not lie about something like this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. I know him, Frank. You were just being paranoid. Paranoid? It's gut instinct. And when I follow it, I'm right. He's talking. And you're going to shut him up. Really, because he didn't call you, so now that's enough? I don't have to explain anything to you. You want to do what I do? You want to run this little kingdom I have someday? Then embrace it. Look, paranoia is how I knew Robbie snitched. Now I got something better than that. I wanted Abbott for this job, but you vouched for him. Take care of this. Hey, he's a friend of mine. There are no friends in this. He's a weapon. And he's broken. Whatever button you have that gives us that CD back and him dead, push it. Don't fuck this up, son. I know he's no good for me, but you're not really helping right now. Just saying, uh, start using your brain. If you're gonna sell guns, don't sell them to your ex. Cut them off. Drop it, back up. You said don't move. You know what I mean.
get her. I don't like this any more than you do, Jolly. No! Don't make it hurt on her. Over here, get her. Over here. Over here. I could tape her mouth shut and fucking break her nose. You want to watch her die out like that? The only thing I want to hear from you is why when Frank told you to get the drive and to kill Mitchell, you didn't do it. You want me to fuck her up the ass, huh? You, that gets you talking? <laughs> Ask him about the thing. The, the wiretap. Yeah, I know, Wes. I'm fucking getting to that. March 26th. Wes calls you. Asks me to get up with McMahon. I was sick. You tell him you're fine. July 18th. Wes gets hired to fucking take out Goldberg. The next day, he calls Mitchell, tells him the whole goddamn thing. Goldberg gets hidden away by the state. He tells you he's in a fucking swamp. He's lying. He's a fucking rat. What the fuck's he talking about, Wes? He's making it up. Look at the situation. This will give me everything. <laughs> Fuck! He's lying. Get your fucking ass over there. Just listen up. I need to hear what he has to fucking say. Don't make me dig more holes, Wes. He's calling me a cop. I don't give a shit what he's calling you. I want to hear what he has to fucking don't say. Don't tell me you believe in this guy. Fuck, I just want to hear what he has to fucking say. I don't know if it's bullshit or not. Just shut the fuck up. You said it was an emergency. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, it is. We got a little more time. The trunk. Yeah, hello? What's going on? Talk to me. I don't know. I don't fucking know. He called me 10 minutes ago said it was an emergency. Is Eric there? Tell what my fuck idiot. is it? Is it Frank? Frank. Off. Frank. Yeah, no, no, no. Listen, we can't talk right now. It's fucking nuts. Yeah, we'll call you later. Okay, bye. Let's go. What? Frank? He doesn't want this. Is Frank here? I I just don't think it's a good idea. You don't think? I would... Just get the fuck over there. All right, fine. Is it Joel? Hey, I'm on my way over. Can you help me out? Wait, what? I said I'm on my way over. Can you help what? me out? Slow down. Hello. Hey, do we have any more towels? Hello. What? Hold on. Towels. Who are you talking to? Second Wait, drawer on the right. Second drawer? Who are you talking to? Yeah. Hello? In here or the hallway? In there. Yes, I am. Lelena, please. I cool. just need to go over there for 20 minutes. You are not coming here. Joel. Joel. I wouldn't Joel. be calling you if it wasn't an emergency. All right? Just help me out. Joel, listen right? to me. 
Who are you talking now? Hello? Joel, listen, I'm only gonna say this once. There's nothing between us that counts as an emergency. I have nowhere else to go right now. Do not come. Please. Hello? Hi, Eric. Hey, I gotta come by and get some things. You're the only person mm, on the way. Now is really not a good time. Why? I, I, I'm a few minutes out. You, you won't even know I'm there. I'm just um, walking I... and let me in. Have people over and the game's on and some other Elena, things. it is not a good day to say no to me. You fucked us. What? Oh. Holy shit, Joel. I gotta sit down. No, Joel, you need a no, doctor. No, 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 no doctor. Yes. No, they ask Joel. fucking questions. Well, I'm asking fucking Come questions. On. Jesus, fine, go to the garage, okay? I'll let you in. I got people here. Go. Fuck is that? Ah! Whoa. Whoa. Give a shit about picking that the fuck. Could have been worse, that's all I'm saying. I don't think today could have gone any worse. Actually, I was talking about your face, but it wasn't much to begin with, so. Thank you. Save it. So, uh, who's the guy, your, um, your boyfriend? Oh, no, that's Dennis. He's a friend. He's already using your shower. Maybe. You jealous? No, he's short. I should fucking went after him. They took her, and I. Where do you think he's going? You tell me. I got some hash if you wanna. No, I need something different. And pliers, gas, and a blowtorch. Came to the wrong place, hon. Okay, I'm trying to keep that separate from whatever this is. Elena, you can't keep these things separate anymore. But you're the one who put me here. I'm out, okay? As far as all this goes, I got nothing to do with it. I am neutral, and I am doing you a favor. That is all. I'm asking for your help. With what? I'm not going to war with you, Joel. And if you do that, hey, look at me. And if you do this, she is dead. She's dead. You're alone, and I am not picking up the pieces. Okay, then what would you do? What? Look, if you were me and you were sitting here, what would you do? Saver, Elena. Who's gonna get this shit where I'm going? Well, where's that? Do you have any duct tape? Like, a lot of it? Maybe, I don't know. Could you check? You better pay me back for this. Here, 
by telling everybody about what a Ganasqua is. I, I briefly mentioned at the beginning that maybe we're talking about Bigfoot, maybe we're not. Tell everybody a little bit about the term Ganasqua. Well, Ganasqua actually originated as a, a native term. Here, this is the best I could do. So you really think he's ratting you out? Us. Writing us out. You're in this too, you know. Well, we don't talk much. <laughs> yeah, but you see him enough. They're gonna wanna know where he gets his tools. What, so I am I a liability now or pretty thing like you? Just tell the line. You know, this doesn't seem to be bothering you very much. What are you talking about? Eric, you are his best man. Yeah. Look how he paid me back. Definitely more aggression. Ouch! Okay, if he's a rat, then why aren't we all in cuffs right now? Exactly what we want to know. I haven't seen him. Eric is 50 feet away. He'll be here before I hit the ground. I'm gonna have to shoot him too. That's a hell of a gun for a beginner. Your ride's waiting. Just gotta use the restroom. The toilet doesn't work. Just gotta wash my hands. your car. Fuck off. Lena, I told you this is not the day. Get the fuck out! Cool. I'll see you later. Hey, buddy. Is that going to be a problem? Yeah, I'll live. <laughs> Hell of a shiny you got there. You and your boy get the fuck off my crime scene. Condolences. A friend of yours? I got bullet holes in the wall, foul play, and a homicide. His name is Wesley Carter. He's 30 years old. What do you know about him? Never heard of him. The homeowner is a girl. Her name's Sabrina Carrero. Her husband is Joel Carrero, and they're both missing. What's your point? Just said I'm gonna watch you burn. You? <laughs> you ain't burning me. Maybe your clients then. I'm sure they don't want this shit out there. If you had anything, you'd have used it by now. One word and I got 50 guys that'd like to break every bone in your fucking body. So do I! Maybe you're delirious. Maybe you should have stayed home. Let me ask you something. You ever try explaining why a two-bit greased-up thug wants to kill you in your own home? You know what it does to him? We're just trying to protect our families. the weirdest because I wasn't really even thinking about getting married and then she just did it so I'm like fuck it why not you know your words exactly yeah of course I 
damn, she didn't waste any time. Yeah, you probably didn't waste any time. proposal. It's expensive, but I think we can work with it. Benoit told us a lot about you. Well, hopefully not too much. <laughs> I have to admit, it's pretty exciting. It's kind of like a true crime novel. Uh, theoretically, how soon can you execute this? Uh, give me a few days and I'll deliver. Could you be a little more specific? I'm restructuring. I heard. Anything that concerns us? Call us in six months. Forty K, Joel Carrero. After that, no phones. Dead or alive. You're getting out over here. Really? You're gonna drop me in the middle of fucking nowhere? Just stop up here. If you go, I'm coming after you. I'm gonna blow your head off. I think we both know you're not gonna do that. You don't know the first thing about me. Look, lady, you can put the gun down, okay? Because I'm not the kind of guy who's gonna kill a cop. What did you just say? This is Mitchell Stan, 14987, checking in with CI Sabrina Landry, October 16th. Do you verify? It's Sabrina Carrero. Okay, whatever. 
What do you have to report? Well, I mean, Joel comes and goes, but he doesn't talk about what he does. And you don't find that odd? What do you want me to say? Then let me ask you this. Have you seen him with inordinate amounts of money recently? Inordinate? Okay, have you seen him handle large amounts of money? I know what it means, and no. Then how are you guys paying your bills? And why is everything in your name? Why do you think? I'd like to remind you that avoiding jail time for your drug arrest was contingent on you supplying me with usable information for my ongoing investigation of it. Franklin Daly. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Do you? Yes. Then give me something. He does some illegal stuff. Yeah, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. You haven't given me anything useful. I haven't given you anything useful? When you guys first met, and you asked him what he did for a living, what did he say? <laughs> no, I'm in construction. What do you do? Me? Yes, you. What do you do? I'm a model. Your model? Wow. Yeah, why? Is that so hard to believe? No, I don't fit all the requirements. I just don't see a lot of models that kind of look like you. Oh, and how many models do you see? You'd be my first, actually. I'm an alternative model, like uh, goth chic pinups. Uh, my phone rings when a company wants to look edgy. Okay, so what should I get you then? Some champagne, maybe? No, <laughs> no, I'm not a champagne kind of a gal. I'm a cheap babe. Uh, what are you drinking, anyways? It looks really confusing. It's called the Sabrina, the bartender. It's it's bad. <laughs> hey bud, can I get a Sabrina? I'm telling you, it's not good. Yeah, I'll take my chances. even think about using the A word. I don't even want to think about it. How far along are you? Six weeks. You know, I always thought that when I got pregnant, I'd be ecstatic. I'd be doing backflips off the wall. Now it's complicated. It's always going to be complicated. Yeah, and it's going to change everything. I don't think you'd understand, though. There's, there's a lot at stake. Then help me to understand it. I mean, are you scared of Joel? Say again. I found some guns in the trunk of her car. What kind of guns? A couple of shotguns, some handguns. And you don't think that looks suspicious? He has a hunting license. Sorry about this. Think of it like a um, camping trip. Fuck. Really? Let's not do something that we're going to regret. Okay, Sabrina? Your babysitting. I didn't sign up for this. Hey, Eric, you okay. I don't really give a fuck about your kid's soccer game, Abbott! Take off your fucking skirt and do it! The kid's terrible. They're gonna lose anyway.
Feeling okay? Sorry things got so fucked up, but I swear we are gonna find this guy, and when we do, we are gonna rip his goddamn heart out. He is not gonna know what hit him, all right? What is it you do for me, Owen? It is Owen, right? Yeah. I'm head of, head of security. So, who's guarding the place now? We got another one. <laughs> Tell me something. Did you get names? The drive? Anything? Look at me! No. <laughs> I had three more employees when I woke up this morning. Now I don't. Show me a fucking bright side. I think Wes was one of the rats. <laughs> Based on what? There was something Joel said. Don't the Wes wasn't against. the rat! You seriously be. Be. Never mind! But Joel tell you that with a gun to his head? He's not gonna do anything as long as we have her. Tell that to him. We got cops looking for him. Ones we like, and ones we don't. We can't afford the attention. Not with Benoit looking over my shoulder. We need subtlety. Subtlety? You, you want subtlety? You think hiring a bunch of tweakers and meth heads is gonna help that? We can do this ourselves! <laughs> but not cokeheads. Look, we tried it your way, it didn't work. I'm hedging my bets here. Once I know where he is, he is fucking dead. You want him to pop up for air? I'll cut up her face. Chop off a finger. Take an eyeball. You want me to fucking do that? I don't care what you do, just handle it! I'm gonna lay low till this is square. You wanna make me proud? Fix this. But don't bother coming home. I can do this, Frank! License registration. That must have dropped it somewhere. <laughs> Step out of the vehicle. Look, man, you really don't want to do this right now. I said get out of the car. Move it. Oh, you're... So you got any sharp objects on you? Anything I'm gonna cut my fingers on? You don't make me rub hard enough. You're pissing a lot of people off today. That's my superpower. Three, 
high roller, huh? Now, a friend of ours wants to meet you tomorrow morning at the park on First Street. Yeah, tell him to go to hell. Oh! Ah! Tell me you understand me. So you left him alone with two killers watching. Why in the fuck would you do that? Look, you asked me to give him a message. I did. I'm not risking my life for some fucking asshole. That ain't the end of this story, is it? Up. Really hope you like uncooked top ramen and bourbon. I'm pregnant. Maybe later then. You smoke? I'm not trying to be snarky. For what it's worth, neither one of us is meant to be here. I'm missing my kid's soccer game. Why don't you just get Mitchell and the rest of them to bail us out? It's not really how it works. Really now? Look at us in here. You don't think that this is enough? The minute I give something over, everything changes. If I do that, I've got to have something big, which means Frank. With this, I'm not about to risk everything unless Mitchell tells me to. You're an errand boy. I'm a survivor, is what I am. Now you can think about me what you like, but I made my peace with this a long time ago. People I work with, they're friends. They've been there for me. But I know Frank, things ain't going his way. You're just an ant. And he's a big fucking magnifying glass burning you. You think Frank knows about this? About, about who we are? Let's hope not. Or else he's going to plan C. Killing us. And everybody that works for him. It's business. What business is this, huh? The Mafia? It ain't the Mafia. Mitchell didn't prep you for any of this? Or Joe? How could they? You kind of figured you want to train cop. Just clueless. Whatever. I, ju I just wanted to protect him. You're already thinking like a parent. Boy or girl? I'm gonna die in here. Just help me.
Not for nothing, but if I wanted to record this, we've got mics that can hear from across the pond. And I could arrest you for carrying a gun in a public park. Nice shiner. You too. You to collect the bounty? Uh, if I kill somebody, it's for way more than 40000 okay? Those are chump wages. And you're welcome, by the way, for uh, warning you about it. Yeah, no thanks. Okay, so we're gonna play the blame game now? Because that kind of thing goes both ways. Look, man, if you're not here to take me in or kill me, what do you want? This was taken five minutes ago, and I can get her out right now. Get her out. You know what I'm gonna ask? Well, fuck you, just get her out. I'm not negotiating. She's my wife. You know what she is, Joel? She's bait. She's not a fucking toy. Frank, Eric, the whole house of cards. You go on the record, and you avoid prison time. Maybe. I just want her back. OK. Then? sell her out if I gave that CD to Frank. Now you want my trust. Look, I warned you, okay? I could have said nothing and you wouldn't even be here. Yeah, it's good you're such a great guy. Look, we want the same things. Bullshit. You want money. I have the CDs, I have the wiretaps, I have everything. If I show a judge that, me and you are gonna share a prison cell. And I don't care if your kid watches. I will fucking kill you this time. Last thing you want, Joel, is to have a U.S. attorney going over your file. Look, no matter what, this thing's gonna hit you like a fucking hurricane. Just give me Frank and Eric, and you guys are free. That's it. That's the deal. I'm not free. Look at that guy over there by the fountain. Take a look at him. That's Richie Vertijak. He used to work up north in the sticks. The guy wasn't a real success story, sort of a middle dude with a gun. Nothing big. A couple months back, some motherfuckers tortured him. He talked. Somebody disappeared. Somebody didn't like that. Motherfuckers gave him a limp and the guys cut out his tongue. Yeah, he got up easy. I won't. Now's the best chance you have to see your kid grow up, man. The choice is yours. Best case scenario, if you do this, you're damned. If your friends get that, you're fucking dead. <laughs> fucking dodge for me there, Jolie! Hey, you got a few minutes? Yeah.
I love you. That's enough of that. Put her back on. I'll talk to you later. <clears throat> you want me to pack your things first? No, not quite yet. Why not? Why not, Eric? It's fucking bullshit. Excuse me, sir, can I get you another beer? Yeah, I'll take another. Hey, amigo, you might want to card this guy. He's younger than he looks. I'll have what he's at. What are they doing here? Oh, well, I mean, maybe they're on a date. You know, she has a type. She was not part of all this. Your mom is not part of all this. Look, if Sabrina were here, it'd just be more complicated. I'm just gonna handle this quietly. Uh, you don't even have her. Oh, fuck you, Joel. I got it. Come on, man. Frank doesn't even know I'm doing this. I'm sticking my neck out for you. But it's complicated. No, this is not complicated. Hey, where is she? Once I get it, you get Alina. I gave her GPS coordinates. What coordinates? What the fuck are you talking about? That's the kind of thing that we tell a guy before we shoot him. It's the best I can do right now. The best shit. Yeah, that wasn't the plan. <laughs> Nothing's been going according to plan. And I only know she's not already dead. Yeah, my word. Ah, uh, fuck your word. Shouldn't take this long. When we were going out, they'd get like this. They'd start by talking about work, and then it turns into your mama jokes. So, how have you been? Fuck you, Abbott. Could have just taken that. Yeah. Would you rather finger came with it? Because Frank would have had me chop it off, but I didn't do that. Look, man, if any of the shit that we've gone through has meant anything, you gotta just fucking believe me when I say she's all right. Not for nothing, but, uh, I always thought Elena was cuter. Yeah, noted. Are we done yet? Almost. A couple files missing here. Maybe he deleted them. <laughs> yeah, maybe. They're the movie files that I'm interested in. The movie files?
on the rats. It was Abbott. It was fucking Abbott and that fucking Sabrina. A lot of good that did us. Dad, you don't understand. This is what I'm saying. I fucking did this. It's Saul. What, what about the people you shot in the restaurant? Well, I didn't have a choice. It was them or me. What am I gonna fucking do? Eric, this isn't something we should be discussing over the phone. Shut down those monitors. I'm going to be shooting in this direction. I guess I should be surprised at all this, but I'm just not feeling it. Can we get on with this? But just remember, you're going on the record now, okay? You can't back out. How do I look? Speed this up, okay? Out. Hey, we gotta go. No. I have to go when you have to go. There's no me in this. Atlanta, we do not have time for this right now. Yeah. Okay, you're right, we don't have time. So, you go out there, you can save her and live a long and happy life far the fuck away from me. We have choices right now. Choices? When did I ever have a choice in this? Because of you, I'm fucking done out there. Oh, you wanted to get out, it's all you used to talk about. But I was getting out, it was gonna be my choice, my goddamn choice. Did they have a choice, Joel? Those people back there, did Dennis? Elena, I... You're a selfish piece of shit, Joel. You know what, a year ago? I would have gone to war with you. If you went on the run, I'd be there. Sorry. Go. I never want to see you again. Stanton, agent 14987, conducting a formal interview. Please state your name. Your name, please. Franklin Arroyo Daly. What is the nature of your relationship with Eric Daly? He's my son. I was. He was troubled. I run a lot of legitimate businesses, including this photography studio. He asked if he could run it. I told him he could. I didn't raise him to be a killer. I've never been the nicest to him. I did the best I could. asked for immunity from prosecution, is that correct? Correct. I have nothing to hide. I didn't want to ruin the reputations of my legitimate businesses or my family because of the actions of my son. I've heard enough. I'm not done. Turn it back on. I got evidence that puts you right there with the worst assholes this side of the country. And you're going to play the legitimate businessman? Put it what on! What the fuck is the matter with you? Put it on! 
I thought this was about family. Isn't my son enough? I don't know, is he? He's a good enough son, he'll do the time. I hit the fucking button. I first became aware of these crimes approximately two weeks ago. I immediately contacted my... Covered up shit he was doing for years. I had his back. What did you do, Sabrina? Fuck you! You turned him in! What'd you do for him? Look at him in fucking gone! <laughs>
think you've had a little bit too much to drink. I think you're an alcoholic. I am a model. I am allowed to be. It's not my fault you can't hold your liquor. What? You started that whole thing with the Sabrinas. They can fuck you up. That's what I've been told. <laughs> I'm not a model anymore. I hope you're not disappointed. Why? Right, what happened? I left. I ripped up the lottery ticket. <laughs> You are a ballsy girl there, ballsy girl. Walked away from all that money. Yeah, well, money isn't everything. Except, right now, we need a cab, and I don't carry any cash. Well, I happen to be a thousand air. <laughs> I saw construction workers don't like that kind of cash. Well, I have a fucking awesome construction dude, that's why. Sure, but, but you're not them. So, what do you really do? Problem solved, though. Hope we have a girl.